Hello everybody. May Almighty God bless you, guide you, my brethren. May you see the goodness of the Lord in your life forever and ever. Amen. Today, our topic is God is taking over your battles. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 17 says, You shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Hallelujah. Amen. The children of Israel came to crossroad when the enemies too strong for them came to attack them. The children of Israel called on their God led by Judah, which means praise, and suddenly prophesy came telling the Israelites that the battle is no longer theirs but the Lord's. This is because they praise God in the face of their challenges. Are you praising God in the face of your challenges or are you crying? Putting fear in your life. You don't know that God Almighty have taken your battles. He is going to fight all your battles in your family, in anywhere, in your home, in Jesus' name. Amen. Therefore, every word that has gone ahead of you, that is yet to be fulfilled in your life, as you go to God in praise, all shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. You shall experience a divine visitation that will put your expectations in your hand like a dream of the night in the name of jesus amen genesis chapter 21 verse 6 to 7 said and sarah said god had made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me and she said who would have said unto abraham that sarah should have given children suck for i have borne him a son in his old age i don't know why you are weeping because you have not getting your own child. I don't know what is keeping you depressed because of some certain challenges in life. Let me tell you, God is able to perform every miracle in your life. What God cannot do does not exist. Jehovah is there to help you. Just what you do, child of God, is to believe and trust in him. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. Then Abraham prays his way to the fulfillment of prophecy as he staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And then Isaac came. Have you praised God today? Do not weep, no matter what is going on. No matter how everything is, I saw a brother and his family, he was crying that his, their papers have not come, immigration have not given them their papers. I just tell him that God will do something. Forget about doing any other thing. Just go and pray and keep on praising Jehovah. He would do it. Suddenly God did it. What he has spent money everywhere, calling this, calling that. But Jehovah did it in one hour. Hallelujah. Amen. Romans chapter 4 verse 20 says, He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Please do not have unbelief. Believe that God has had your prayer. Believe that God has made a way for you. Jehovah will fight your battle in Jesus' name. Your prophetic Isaac must be born in this season of praise. Praise never loses a battle. I always tell people this. Whatever battle God cannot lose, praise cannot lose as well. Every mockery against your life will be converted to victory today as you engage in praise. Praise to God. You can praise your way out of every valley into the high places of life. Therefore, you are coming out of that situation in a grand style. A new chapter is opening up to you now. What no one could ever imagine will happen to you or in your life is taking place now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jehovah knows you more than you know yourself. I just want to ask you this. Go and go and be a child of God. Go and turn yourself into Christ. Jesus Christ has so many miracles to give to you. Do not weary. 
Only believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Only trust in Him. God, Jesus Christ, will not leave you nor forsake you. Whatever you're going through, Almighty God will see you through. He has taken over your battles. You don't need to fight this battle anymore. Almighty God has taken over your battle. Whatever you're going through, Jesus is alive. He will fight your battle. Do not worry yourself of anything. Conditions of life must surely come, but Jesus Christ is the winner. Trust in him. Believe that he will make a way for you in the name of Jesus Christ.